going on YouTube welcome back to the channel I got another video for y'all let's go right into it we are going to the courts to look at some we're gonna be looking at some family court matters and there's a mother here who is apparently keeping a child away from her father or from his or her father right so let's watch Miss Bouvier, you need to turn your video on because we're in the middle of trial. I mean, middle of the, the hearing now. So you have to have your video on. You turn your mic off, but your video needs to be on. Your Honor, for the record, before we proceed this matter, there are some facts I must state um, for the record. I'm here on special that's, restricted that's the mother. as the representative of the descendant. Um, and I do not wish to waive any rights, rather statutorial or procedural. And for the record, as the authorized representative, executor, Beneficiary, I have demanded a jury trial in regards to this matter. Moving forward for the record, Your Honor, I have filed an amended notice of recusal with an affidavit of, uh, affidavit of fact on May 29, 2024. With all due respect, Your Honor, I have not received a response from you in regards to this notice. Please note for the record, I have presented to this court on special restricted delivery all presentments to date. Moving forward, according to Georgia Code Section 15, 12, 122, and 2020 Georgia Code Section 91138, right breeze. to a jury trial is a reserved right. Please note for the record, at this time, I do not wish to add nor subtract anything from my pre um, presentments, and I stand behind my documents, and at this time, I fully, I respectfully excuse myself from this proceeding to await all notices concerning the trial by jury according to the law. Okay. So um, first she filed a motion for recusal, which the court denied. Looks like you filed, an, you need to turn your video back on. If you don't turn your video back on, I'm going to have a hearing mm. without you. All right. Okay. So turn Gotta your video come back, back on. All right. Um, you filed a, you filed a motion for recusal, which the court reviewed and denied without there being sufficient evidence. I think you filed an amended one, which the court did not receive a copy of. You were supposed to send that to Chambers if you actually wanted me to respond to it. Um, but you filed it via e-file. I'm noticing it now. It's going to be denied for the very same reasons. With regard to your request for an uh, for a trial, this is a custody matter. It cannot be a trial by jury because you can't have a trial by, trial by jury on a custody mm -hmm. matter. So that issue would be yeah. denied. As for your representation, the court will consider you London Bouvier. That's who you are. That's the, what the court consider you as. If you want to consider yourself as anything else, that'll be up to you. But when I make a decision, it's going to be for your government name, London Bouvier. And that's what the, 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 the law of Georgia is going to hold accountable. So when you don't do what I ask to do, and your representative or whoever you think you might be won't be going to jail. Mm -hmm. It'll be you, London de Bouvier. Okay. So I want to make sure you understand that. So is, is that clear to you? All right. We're going to proceed. <laughs> she didn't even answer. Proceed. If you want to participate, that's up to you. If you don't want to participate, that's up to you. But I am going to make a ruling and the law will be what the law is. I suggest you should participate so that you can be heard and that the concerns that you have, the court will will have an opportunity to hear them. That'll be up to you. Okay. Okay. But if you do participate, you need to have a video on. That's job. crazy. Yes, Your Honor. For, <laughs> first off, showing up to court being this mad. What do you think you're, you're going to achieve? And what, what does she think she's going to achieve being having that attitude? Like that is a easy way for the to, to help the judge make make her mind up, right? And things will not favor her. Things will not go in her favor. She's gonna lose her child. Whatever it is that she's trying to trying to attain from this court proceedings, she's not gonna get with that attitude because they're gonna look at her as being a be, being a troublemaker, right? The father doesn't even have to defend himself. Might be a good thing anyways. Let's go. Recommendation first, and then you can back up with why you make such decision. Sure. And do you, I think we're just here on a limited matter for contempt from that interim order that was entered in April, if I'm correct. And I agree with that. what's in that order, Your Honor, as far as getting visitation started. 
Okay, from hold a on. Land and died. Yeah, hold on. Let me pull back for a second, okay? Because I think I had to go to another. Okay, so I see an She's amended. Gone. I see on April nineteenth, amended parenting plan. So, no, no, uh, Judge. There was we had the hearing. I believe on the fourteenth, we we submitted an interim order for a temporary visitation that was signed on the nineteenth. Yes, signed on the nineteenth. That's correct, Your Honor. I'm sorry, it was signed on the night the eighteenth and I'm trying to see who's the, the dad. Did you get a copy of it? Obviously. Yes. Yeah. We... Okay, let must be Romario. I I don't see it. Hold on for a second. Did, you, did it did you see it in the yes, ma'am? It, it's not showing in judges' editions. Oh that's odd. Odyssey shows it. Yes, Okay, I apologize. Um, so we there are two things. There's the Odyssey that everybody kind of looks at, and then there's Judges Edition, which is how we keep our notes based on a document, which is how how we operate. I don't know why, but this interim order isn't there. So when I was reviewing the file for this hearing, I didn't see this order. Um, so let me take a quick second to look at it. Thank you. No problem, Judge. Has this order been followed? Is it being no, followed? Your Honor, yeah. That's why we're here. It's not being followed. No. It, no. Right. We filed a contempt on this order on May 7th. Okay. So they have an order for the for visitation and, and custody arrangement. And the mother is not following that order. Right. So the, the father has brought her back to court because that order is not, it's not being followed. Right. So he wants to make sure that the court penalize or forces the, the, the mother to follow that, 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 uh, that order that was, that was put in place. Really? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. I, I assume I I had thought that this matter was coming back on the calendar because we I continued it from the last matter, but now I understand. Okay, so there is the, also the contempt on the interim order. That's all right, correct, Your Honor. got it. I got it. All right, yeah, all other issues shall remain. Okay, all right. So the order isn't being followed. That's it is not. That's the issue. It, it being followed at all, like no visitation or just being. At, no Nothing. visitation uh, at all, Judge. Geez. All right, Miss Bouvier, I've indicated to you once before this, that you're this ratchet moms, ghetto moms that should not that have no business having children <laughs> that has have no business procreating with a man. But here we are. We got a, a ghetto ratchet mom. Bad attitude, you know, immature minded mother who thinks that weaponizing a child is the way to go against the father. Right. I don't know why, why some women do that. Some men do, too. But I don't know why parents do that, where they think that I'm going to use a child as a weapon against the other parent. I mean, if you're doing something that is, is for the benefit of the child is best. For the child, I get it, but I don't see how this is best for the child. Let's let's keep going, though. Right, that your video has to stay on. This will be my last warning to you. Turn your video on. She has no respect for the Ms. court. Bouvier, if I say it again, I'm going to find you in contempt of court. If I say it again, I'm going to find you in contempt. So when, when, Why is she when so anything mad anyways? happens before, I'm going to have my deputies come get you. Okay, you turn it off again. Just I will go get find her, you man. in contempt of court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just All go right? get her. So you will spend ten days in the cab kind of jail. You turn the video ten off. Ten days. Okay. I would say at least 35, 40 days. Like ten is nothing. Right. <laughs> she needs to learn. She needs to learn that there, there is an order of authority here, and just because she has lipstick on. Makeup on does not make her any special, right? That does not make her special. So I, I would I would say at least 40, 45, 
50 days. I'm increasing. The more I'm speaking, I'm increasing them because she definitely doesn't respect this court, doesn't respect the judge, doesn't take kindly to authority telling her what to do. She hates it. She wants to do her own thing. She has a wicked mind. Withhold a child from his father. Yeah. But you know what? Some people out there would say, how could you have a child with such a person? Did this woman transform and become the person that she is today? Or was she always that person? And if the, if the answer is she's always been that way, what made this man right here think to himself, let's put a seed in that. That is where my legacy lies. <laughs> you guys are wilding. Did you understand me, Miss Boubier? Did you understand me, Miss Boubier? Unmute yourself and say so. She's not talking. Miss Boubier. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to excuse you from this hearing. I'm going to find you in contempt Just and I will it. pick you up. Do it. Do it. Clearly doesn't care. And your child will then go to Mr. Bill. Do it. A mute. Nope. She's I stand behind my documents. What documents? For the record, I stand behind my documents. You can stand behind whatever you want. Do not unmute like I asked you. Ms. Marshall, go ahead and remove Ms. Bouvier from these proceedings. Yes, ma'am. There you go. I find you in contempt of court. There you Ten go. Ten days in the Cap County Jail. Ten. Child will be returned to will be presented to Mr. Habib. Making ninety, making ninety days in there. Oh, she's gone. All right. She gone, Thank man. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, you all have a good day. You too, Your Honor. All right. Do you want me to prepare an order for instant yes. prepare the order? Put it in word so I can put in my contempt. But um, interim, but interim, the custody of the child will be will be sent to Mr. Habib. Thank you, Judge. All right, thank you. <laughs> I, you see the smile on the father's face. You see the smile on the father's face. It's like yes, yes. I got my kid back. I got my kid back. <laughs> Oh man, you know what? He's not is he's, he's never gonna get child support from that woman, even though the child is gonna be living with him. He's never gonna get child support from, from such a woman. She's not gonna comply. So if I was him, I'd just focus on the child, raising that child all by himself and just doing what he has to do. If she wants to come in and, and get a visitation, that's fine. But this is important, right? This is why we have to pay attention to who we we are having kids with, right? We wanna we wanna make sure that we're we're putting our seed in in someone that's responsible, someone that takes responsibility for their actions, someone that's accountable, right? Someone that has integrity and 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 respect, not just someone. We see that, oh man, it looks so good. And that is all we need to know about. No. When we focus on the superficial things that the society and the world focuses on, the movies and the soap operas focuses on, the music focuses on, all the superficial things, it'll perish. We have to focus on things that have more meaning, more purpose. Not just superficial things that will perish the next day right there's no woman that beautiful that you are not gonna get bored of <laughs> you're gonna look at her after two weeks and you're like that's that's it <laughs> that's all you got what other tricks do you got on your sleeves other than this this is it I ain't gonna cut it, right? You know, men will walk away when they see that there is no value in it. But I think that, you know, a lot more men have to be thinking about the, their, their legacy instead of putting seeds into creatures such as these. We wanna, we wanna prevent these type of things from happening. 
If you want to procreate, you know, find a woman who has good values, good standards, moral standards that will really instill those same values into your child, right? That you can speak to and they can listen to you. You guys can reason on on, on matters soundly, not just go back and forth bickering, fighting, right? That's not the way we want to do it. Anyways, y'all, I am out of here. Catch me in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys later. All right, take it easy. Have a good night. Peace.